Welcome to Spectrum of Wisdom, your one-stop channel for insightful and enlightening content. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of the pygmy hippopotamus. Hidden in the dense forests of West Africa, lives a creature that is small in size but big on charm. The pygmy hippopotamus, a reclusive and nocturnal animal, is a captivating subject with its unique behaviors and adaptations. The pygmy hippopotamus, Coeropsis liberiensis, is a small creature that belongs to the family Hippopotamidae. It's one of only two existing species in this family, the other being its much larger relative, the common or Nile hippopotamus. The pygmy hippo is native to the forests and swamps of West Africa, primarily in Liberia, with smaller populations in Sierra Leone, Guinea, and Ivory Coast. It used to exist in Nigeria but has been wiped out there. The pygmy hippo is a reclusive and nocturnal creature. It displays many terrestrial adaptations but, like its larger cousin, it is semi-aquatic and relies on water to keep its skin moist and its body temperature cool. It is herbivorous, feeding on ferns, broad-leaved plants, grasses, and fruits found in the forests. Unlike the common hippopotamus which is social, pygmy hippos live either alone or in small groups, typically a mated pair or a mother and calf. The pygmy hippo is a rare creature and difficult to study in the wild. They were unknown outside West Africa until the 19th century. They breed well in captivity and most research comes from zoo specimens. The International Union for Conserva Conservation of Nature estimated in 2015 that fewer than 2,500 pygmy hippos remain in the wild. They are primarily threatened by loss of habitat, as forests are logged and converted to farmland, and are also vulnerable to poaching, hunting for bushmeat, natural predators, and war. The naming of the pygmy hippopotamus follows that of the hippopotamus. The plural form is pygmy hippopotamuses or pygmy hippopotami. A male is known as a bull, a female as a cow, and a baby as a calf. A group of hippopotami is known as a herd or a bloat. Several species of small hippopotamids have become extinct in the Mediterranean in the late Pleistocene or early Holocene. These species, though similar in size to the pygmy hippopotamus, are considered dwarf hippopotamuses, rather than pygmies. They are likely descended from a full-sized species of European hippopotamus, and reached their small size through the evolutionary process of insular dwarfism which is common on islands. There were also several species of pygmy hippo on the island of Madagascar. Pygmy hippos spend most of their day hidden in rivers, often resting in the same spot for several days before moving to a new location. Some of them use dens or burrows in river banks, but it's unclear how common this is or whether they help create these dens. They emerge from the water at dusk to feed and rely on game trails to navigate through dense forest vegetation. They mark these trails by waving their tail while defecating, which spreads their feces further. Pygmy hippos are herbivores. They don't eat much aquatic vegetation or grass, as these are uncommon in the thick forests they inhabit. Instead, they eat ferns, broad-leaved plants, and fruits that have fallen to the forest floor. They have a varied diet and will eat any available plants, which provides them with a higher quality diet than that of the common hippopotamus. The sexual maturity for pygmy hippos occurs between 3 and 5 years of age. They mate on land or in water, and a pair will mate 1 to 4 times during an estrus period. The gestation period ranges from 190 to 210 days, and usually, a single young is born, though twins are known to occur. Unlike the common hippopotamus, which gives birth and mates only in the water, pygmy hippos can do both on land and water. Young pygmy hippos can swim almost immediately after birth. The greatest threat to the remaining pygmy hippopotamus population in the wild is the loss of habitat due to logging, settling, and conversion to agriculture. As forests shrink, the populations become more fragmented, leading to less genetic diversity in the potential mating pool. Pygmy hippos are also illegally hunted for food in Liberia. Their meat is said to be of excellent quality, similar to that of a wild boar. They can also be killed by leopards, pythons, and crocodiles, but the frequency of these occurrences is unknown. The effects of civil strife in West Africa on the pygmy hippopotamus are unknown but are likely to be negative. Thank you for joining us on this enlightening journey into the world of the pygmy hippopotamus. We hope you enjoyed this deep dive into their unique lifestyle and the challenges they face. 
Remember, every creature plays a vital role in our ecosystem, and understanding them is the first step towards conservation. If you found this video informative and want to explore more such topics, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Spectrum of Wisdom. Stay curious, stay wise.